Hey guys, it's Mr. Terrapart, and today we're going to be upgrading my Xbox One S, and I am normally more of a PC gamer myself, however, recently, due to Red Dead Redemption 2 being only available for consoles, I have found myself playing on my Xbox a lot. One of the things that I really like about Red Dead Redemption is how you can be out and about in the wild, and suddenly you get mauled by a bear, and you're dead. And although that sense of excitement and surprise is something that I really enjoyed about the game, uh, I did not enjoy waiting upwards of a minute uh, for the game to load after I had died. With the prices of SSD falling the way that they have been recently, I came across this Intel 545 series, and under $50 for 512 gigabytes was just a deal that I could not pass. So I figured, you know what, it's time to tear apart the Xbox, put an SSD in there, and see if we can't increase the performance or the loading time uh, of the games. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to start with a quick unboxing, tear apart of the Xbox, and then I'm going to run some comparisons, some before and afters of how the game was loading. Let's go ahead and get this done. All right, and that is it for the installation. Ironically, the most difficult part in this process was the part where I didn't really need to use tools, which was just the removal of the trim at the bottom of the Xbox. And that was especially scary because as you go around prying, it makes this fantastically loud sound and it just sounds like you're destroying your Xbox. Um, but uh, it, it was fine in the end. I could have used a plastic, or rather I should have used a plastic prying tool uh, for the removal of that bottom trim. Uh, however, all I had on hand was a, a flathead screwdriver and I just wanted to get it over with. 
Um, alternatively, you could wrap, wrap some electrical tape around the uh, screwdriver or even some masking tape. And again, that's just so that you can prevent damage uh, that is done to the surface when you're prying to remove that trim. Um, something that is not shown in the video is the installation of the OSU-1 files. What that is, is so that you can get your, X back, your Xbox back online with a new hard drive. Since you are installing a new hard drive, the Xbox has to kind of recognize an operating system and you have to load that offline with a USB flash drive. You're not going to see that part in the video again, but uh, however, I will link a video description that I followed, a very good tutorial uh, on the bottom. And you can just go ahead and, and do that step by step and it should be fine. Overall, the whole process took probably about an hour and a half. And again, that's the installation that you saw here today and also the installation of the software that is needed to get this uh, back up and running. And well, let's go ahead and run some tests. Let's see if this is any faster than the old rusty spinning hard drive that was in there. Let's find out. All right, and we are done with the benchmarks. I think those are some pretty fantastic results. About 24 seconds difference in the main loading sequence. And it might not seem like much at first, but if you're constantly dying like the way I am in this game, trust me, it definitely adds up. And that's gonna be all for today, guys. Make sure you hit that like button if you like the video, subscribe for more, I have a bunch of new videos coming out. And leave any comments if you have any questions or if you have any ideas of what I should be shooting next. And I'll see you next time.